we have four components to our tower. We have a base, we have a lower mid, we have an upper mid, and then we have a top. This is the very first section out of the tower. This piece will be lifted on top of what they call a pedestal. The pedestal has already got anchor bolts sticking out. The piece will be lifted into place, set down over the anchor bolts, and then of course the nuts will be screwed down. What we have here is a nacelle and hub assembly. These two pieces come in separately, so this piece here comes in separately from this piece. They come in via rail. The components are set in staging areas so where they can be assembled. They'll attach the, uh, the hub to the nacelle and then of course they'll set them off to the side. They're inspected for any defects, they're cleaned and then they're ready to go out. This bad boy is 160 feet long, weighs approximately 17,000 pounds. It consists of resin, fiberglass and some steel down at the base of it where it attaches to the hub. Just to give you an idea of the thickness here, here's an American Quarter right here and it's pretty darn close to the actual thickness of this trailing edge here. A lot of precision in this blade. This was brought in by a rail, it was offloaded with a crane, it was set in this position. Later on we'll have another crane come over to this area, pick the blade up and set it on a flatbed truck and take it out to our site. This is a radius that we built in to facilitate the movement of components. We cannot make the 90 degree turn over here, so we have to do what they call a radius. This material was brought in, we built up the road, it cuts through the corner and extends out uh, to each side. Uh, this material is all brought in, built up, compacted, it's tested to make sure it's safe. Once that's done, they'll bring the components in and out, and then of course once this function is done, we'll go and we'll reclaim all this material and allow the farmer to come back and plant uh, all this area that we are using at this time. We are now in the process of reclamation. So the farmer uh, was so kind enough to allow us to come in and build a road through this area. What we're doing now is taking out our material, our sand, our gravel, and we're restoring it back so the farmer can have all his surface area to plant his crops. What we're looking at right here is after the area has been cleaned up. So the farmer's land has been reclaimed, his topsoil is put back. We've got the appropriate uh, ditches here for drainage along the side, on each side, and then of course it's been reseeded along in this area. The farmer, if you notice here, we have a road. This was at the request of the farmer. He wanted uh, an access point in order to get to his crops, so we put that in with uh, reclaimed material that we had extra. Uh, to the uh, advantage of the farmer. Pretty proud of this area. As you can see, it's all been put back and it will be farmed next year uh, without any problems. If you look right off here in the distance, we've got one blade already uh, attached. That blade that's attached to the nacelle will be swung down to approximately the six o'clock position, giving the, the opening for the next blade to be attached. This is a project in process. As you can see, we have our road into the site. We've got our components in place. They're lifting. We're just finishing up the last stages of uh, uh, stacking out this turbine. We've got two more blades that will be attached and then we're done on that application. Then they'll start uh, doing the up tower wiring and the down tower wiring. This is a crane path. We're gonna come in with our equipment. We're gonna move the topsoil about four to six inches depending on the terrain. We're going to move the topsoil out to the edges. The, the soil is compacted and then it's decompacted. We don't bring in any rock to facilitate this type of application. Uh, I know that's a big issue with farmers. They don't want any type of rock into their farm fields. So all this is is compressed soil and then we come back and chisel it and decompact it. This again is only temporary. What you'll see next year is that over there where it's nice and green. This is an area that has been reclaimed. As you can see, all the soil has been pushed back. This is what it'll look like after all those people get their equipment out. We push the top soil back out of the way to build our roads here. We feather out the area, making sure that it's what the landowner wants. We put in our culvert pipes at our entryway and we make sure that our ditches are at what the, uh, the road commissioners want. It's all been reseeded. So the land has been feathered back out. The original soil is back. The farmer will be able to farm all the way right up to the road if he wants to, uh, and this is all ready to go. We have the turbine behind us. It's not spinning. We're still in the process of commissioning these turbines, so they're going through their checks and balances, and we are hoping to have this uh, circuit energized by tomorrow.